The Lagos Zonal Chairman of Nupeng has blamed the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NNPC, for the persistent fuel shortage in the country. Aboyeji claimed that NNPC has been unable to provide enough fuel for the country. He, however, appealed to the federal government to fix the nation's refineries. As a union, why are you facing this, uh, the price hike? You see, from government, government said they have not increased, they have not increased the, the price of the uh, uh, product. So why are we facing, why are we having the hacking price? And that is, that is the reason why the government issued a statement that you should fall back to the price. The scarcity we are experiencing now is as a result of no availability of the products. Because our member, I mean, our branch, the long tractor driver, we are working 24 hours to make sure that we pick all the available products. As of this morning, just in a few depot that have, that have this, uh, that, uh, that, uh, this product. And our members are there picking them. So, as long as, I mean, as far as the Nigeria's planning, the products confirmed of today, we don't have enough uh, petroleum especially the PMS. Government has assured us that maybe, probably by next week, the products will be available. But in another argument to reasons, we want to implore government, the federal government, to fix our refinery. The habit of uh, exporting the crude and the, the refinery that send it back to us is condemnable. It's, it's not too good at all. When we have four refineries that they can be fixed and we can refine locally, we we, we, we feel we are government to please. Fish this refinery. We have been shouting all this while, fish the refinery. We didn't say reason why none of our refineries are one. And to continue the conversation, we're now being joined by Douglas E.K. He is the chairman of the Edo State Depot of the Independent Petroleum Marketers Association of Nigeria, Eatman. Mr. E.K., are you with me there? Good evening to you. Now, earlier, um, Lupeng had issued a statement blaming Ipman for the hike in price of fuel, saying Ipman is responsible for that increase. What's your take on this? Yeah, thank you very much for having me. My take in it as Ipman, it is apparently clear that Ipman has not to be blamed in the fair hike of petroleum products in the country because the increment of petroleum products is due to the product the amount being products being bought from the S depots. And for the point to be saying that uh, the big man is to be blamed is it's an aberration. For we if the product in the S depot is if the price is affordable. We we'll buy the way it's supposed to be. Normally marketers go to S depot to buy products and at the end of the day they get there and the product they're supposed to buy at one forty five is now being uh, bought for like one sixty five. You don't expect them to get take that product to their station and sell at the same price. So the bank should channel their blame to the S depot price. So it's not Ipman, because Ipman as an association or we as marketers, as is for us to buy and sell. At the end of the day, if you find that, that these people go, marketers go to the depot to buy products, when they get there, the Nupeng itself, they, 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 they give out a enormous sum of levy for, Nupeng, for Ipman to pay, marketers to pay. At the end of the day, the, when they pay this amount, get into their station to the place of destination, to sell product becomes a problem. In every truck, the profit you get from it is not up to 300,000. If, for example, Lupeng itself as a union is asking marketers to pay at the loading point, 50,000 naira per truck. PTD, petroleum tax and drivers will also come and say they should pay 50,000 naira a truck. These are the same union. The zonal chairman or whoever is the zonal person in that same 
area. We also ask them to pay some of 20,000 naira. At the end of the day, you see, marketers are paying some of it by 120,000 naira for levying a loan to Mupen, which is very, very unacceptable. And if man, marketers as an association, we cannot continue in this way. So that is why you find out that if Mupen is saying that if man is the one causing the hike of petroleum product, is it strong? And for you to know, Nupeg is not the government agency regulatory body that is to check the price hike of any petroleum product being sold in any petrol station. It is the duty of the government agency regulatory body to check and regulate any marketer selling and book price. It's not the duty of Nupeg. Nupeg should channel their issues to the uh, 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 S depot where this product is being bought. And besides, Nupen has many issues which they have to conduct themselves, especially their members, who in this country is causing us a lot of issues in the oil industry. Without Nupen, some of this crude oil theft cannot be channeled from one place to another. Now Look at, in, uh, for example, in my area where we are the depot is in Benin depot here in NAPC area, some group of persons, members of Lupin, they were apprehended by NSCDC in a place where they were refining local products. So these are some of the issues, challenges we are having as marketers. It is our time the federal government starts going into the activities of Lupin to checkmate them. I want to believe that these issues have been on ground even before now that the country is going through this fuel scarcity. These issues have been on ground and we've been getting fuel at the exact approved pump price of 165 Naira. What has changed? Yeah, well, you can see from the little time that uh, some products that were not up to standard was brought into this country. That has been that vacuum has, has created a lot of uh, you know uh, fear into the mind of the, the, the people. So that is why you see some of these stations who were this bad fear that was not up to standard were asked not to sell. So right now I'm assuring the uh, the business of this country that in no time, you know, in a few times that this thing will be a thing of the past. So right now, the cause that this increment came up because the, the 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 vacuum that was there during this time, the product that was brought into this country that was that was so standard. Are you saying to us that? Are effort. you saying to us? Let, sorry to cut you there. Are you saying to us that the landing price of refined fuel from the NNPC is cut throat? Oh, where are you getting the, the where are, is Ipman getting the fuel from to the point of you know raising if, the if price? Man, if, man, if man as marketers we can buy product from anywhere. We can buy if this product is refined, we can buy from the product from refining to the S depot. We can also buy it from private depots. So our ask is for us to buy and sell. For example, we'll get to a private depot maybe within this locality there in uh, uh, within the region of the where between Wari and you know Edo State, for example, and you get a fuel for the rate of 165, where you used to buy it for 145. Because you want to sell your own business, all you need to do is for you to buy. So as is for us to buy and sell, we are not the one who is increasing price. As is for us to get this product to the masses. Because we man as an association is having over 25,000 marketers. If we want once cut off from the system with us, there will be chaos in this country. So our is to make sure that the citizens of this country have the, 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 the opportunity to have product availability in any, any given time that we want it. So that is our position. While you're still trying to bridge the gap between um, the citizens and feel, so to speak, it means that the citizens are still at the mercy of Ipman, and I believe PPMC is listening to you right now. That's the regulatory body for pricing, right? So the citizens are still at the mercy of Ipman if nothing is done in days. No, no, the citizens are not really at the mercy of Ipman. The citizen, as we speak right now, 
you know, is that we as marketers, our own is to make sure that we sell products. This product has been brought into this country by any anybody who is the sole importer of potential products into this country. So, if man as marketers, we are doing our possible best to make sure that it's availability of products. If each and every one of us as marketers is staying and look and say, no, there's no need for us to go into business buying any products because the product has been increased in the S depot. There is no way we can do anybody, there, there is no way we can also sell product, and there is no way the masses can uh, have availability of petroleum product. So for we right now, as it is, we are also appealing to the masses that for whatever the price is right now, it's not going to remain this way. It's going to come back to the same price, which is at 165. As far as we know, we know that the federal government is not making any plans in increasing any particular product for now. So Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Ayike. Thank you for your time with us on News Now. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.